Hey, yo, party people on the YouTube. Internet. Thing. <laughs> I said that and the dog in the back goes... Apparently that was the wrong introduction. Hey, it is, uh, tomorrow is the Christmas thing. I don't care. Um, so this package that's in front of me uh, has been here for about a week. And the company that's from goes like, have, have you opened it yet? I'm like, no, I haven't had time. I got to open other videos. But And then the next day, have you opened it? Have you played it? Have you played it? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I got to open it now. Because freaking company man's getting on my nerves. No, he's not. So I'm really excited to open this. Uh, can't show you until Nam because it's technically in Nam release. But he said I can open it, which is... Then we're going to do this. It's freaking heavy. And, um... Oh, let's get my big package up in my lap. <laughs> Holy... 100 watt amp. It's not something I would want to carry around. But it's fun to play. So here we have the super unboxing tool from the guy that got this to me from, I don't remember his name, but very nice guy that got me the unboxing tool. Thank you, guy that got me the unboxing tool. You might want to comment with your name so I can, in the future, reference your name. This is serious Canadian tape. Oh, holy shit crap. Did you see how YouTube is actually influencing me? Because I, I would have said shit fuck, but something in my brain went, wait, YouTube revenue. And I said shit crap. That's not good. It's not good how even though I consciously made a decision not to care, my brain still kind of was fighting me. Now, are you freaking kidding me? In the box, which I now opened, is a box. Ugh. It's a box in a box. No, it's not. It's a... What is this? In the box is a box? On top of the actual thing. Ah, oh, it's one of those very, very dangerous foot switches. Do I even need to open this? Because I have one of those. Let me see. One, two, M. I'm not gonna... I'll leave this in here. Because I have one of those already, and why... Taint it. I'm gonna try to use the one that I have. And see if it works before I open this one. Come on! Uh, already kind of open it. Now I'm trying to rebox it. This is all of a sudden a reboxing video. Come on! Canadian Ultra Tape. There we go. <laughs> that was Canadians with that crazy tape. Yeah, uh, cables in there, foot switch, uh, a Cat5 cable, all that stuff. I already have this on the other amp that I have. So. We're gonna leave this in the box. And here we have styrofoamy things. We all know what I think about them. This could be cardboard without a problem. Why is it styrofoam? Come on. Come on, people, think about the planet. Although we do love popping these, right? Whee! This could all be just, you know, cardboard and paper. Just saying. Um, am I gonna open no. that? Oh, How am I gonna get this in there again? Oh, new Tolex smell. Oh, fuck is that? What is this? Uh, 6L6, four of them. Holy shit crap. Um,. This is very cool and purple, because what it is, is the... Can you see this? Well, let's go to the guitar cam, Leslie. Oh, look, look, if I, if I get it straightened. Yes! It's the Rev Generator 100P! I'm just noticing that it has this thing and not the other thing. Okay, so the Rev Generator 120 and the Rev Generator 740 and the Rev Generator 100 have the... Let's see, go to the amp wall have the little window which uh, lights up and stuff and you can look inside. They apparently decided on the 100p 
to uh, go with the dynamis look, which is more classic-y. I did see a... I actually did see this amp with purple knobs. And I was like, that's awesome! But then they didn't go for it because apparently the knobs didn't fit the purple of the chassis, which is a very nice dark purple with like black little spots on it. It's sexy. So what is it? Well, the Rev Generator 120, as we know from, of course, my review, which you've all seen, and Glenn Fricker and everyone who uses it, uh, Keith Merrow and all these guys, is a monster masterpiece of an amp. Um, the 100 doesn't have all four channels. It has, let's call it three. That's, that's the number two. Three. Uh, channel one can be crunch and clean. And channel two is actually channel four from the 120. Now, the 120 has two awesome high-gain channels. Channel three, the purple channel, and channel four, the red channel. Channel three is rougher around the edges, and it's the super monster modern high-gain channel. I don't want to say middle. It's, you know... Channel 4 is a little bit rounded off uh, and not tamer. It has as much gain, but it's not as raw, I would call it. And what the 740 has behind me is the red channel. And what the 100 has is the red channel from the generator 120. Now, that third channel, the purple channel, is the one that a lot of people absolutely love. And so everyone said, well, can we get a generator 100? Because we don't need all the four channel craziness. Can we get a gen 100? But instead, channel two, the red channel, we want the purple channel. Why do you think the thing is purple, people? Um, so that's what the, where is it? P, thank you, stands for. And look at the pretty P. Look at the pretty P, that sounds nasty. So this is what it is. And let me see if upside down I can do this. We have clean or crunch right here for the channel two. Do you push this up or down? Ah, okay. Uh, clean or crunch? How do I go to the second channel then? Wait. Do I do that here? Channel 2? Okay, so it's kind of a three-channel thing. Clean or crunch? Crunch gain. Clean probably doesn't have a gain. Okay, something like this. And then you can switch it from 100 to uh, 10 watt for uh, for each, each individual channel. And to go to channel 2, you push this one up. And then you have fat and bright, which on the other one was kind of on top of here. But uh, this is where it comes, uh, where it gets interesting. You push this down and then aggression lights up in three different colors, giving this channel three different types of gainy sounds. And then this is super cool. The bright and the fat really sh uh, helps you shape this uh, amp. And then the mids, which is, I'm doing everything, you know, over overhead, over on the reversed. Um, you have this con contour switch, which, also switches the mid contour. Now you have two masters, uh, which is cool. Master of everything, what? And presence and depth, on that's the uh, high and low for the power amp. What else do we have? We have a mute switch, which I love. I love an amp with a mute switch. Um, and you can switch the masters here by pushing this up. And then we have effects loop on off, which is cool. That's completely out of the thing. And we have store because this thing um, can do MIDI, but it also can store sounds on the foot switch, which we're gonna check out in the review. Um, I kind of like that this is white on top. I, I like that it's not the typical... <laughs> it comes with a, with a built-in game. That is awesome. It's like, you know, one of those games where you go have like a little ball and you go like, eh, how do I get this? So it, it, you know, built in game for the kids. So there's a screw in here, which probably got it. I, I absolutely 100% uh, doubt that this actually is a screw that should be <laughs> hooked up somewhere. Um, that just somehow accidentally got dropped in here. <laughs> 
Um, cause it's 100% not a screw that's supposed to be somewhere. Cause I know these guys are meticulous. Maybe it's just an extra screw, who knows? So, um, in the back, holy crap, hola! <clears throat> we have the typical Rev, beautiful plate, which also leaves a lot of um, air to get, go to, to get to the 6L6s. And then we have the cabinet lighting, which is awesome because the cab lights up in the same colors if you have the Rev cab as the Rev. And then we have MIDI in and out, we have the foot switch, it's fully middable. All the switches on the front can be middable-fied. And speakers and effects loop with a level and external fuses and measuring points, which is very, very nice. And more fuses and inputies. And that's it. This is the Rev Generator 100P as in the purple mega channel. Could be the metal amp for the ages. I think it probably is. Technically, we've already reviewed this by reviewing the Gen 120 and looking at channel three. But did we? Is the power amp section different? We have no idea. I'm going to have to quickly because they want to send this on to friggin' other people. <laughs> other people. Um, what was I going to say? I quickly have to produce a track with it and do a review and then send it off. But it's okay because I'm getting a Dynamis as well, and that's here to stay or coming to stay. And then I'm going to have a Dynamis. Who needs a freaking 100p? Actually, I do. I really do. I really want this because it's pretty and it's a 100p and it's got that sound where you go like, go, 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 and everyone goes like, dude, you're so heavy. I think that's pretty damn cool. We'll see. But not before Nam, you're gonna have to be uh patient. Uh, that's not French. What is French for patient? I don't know. Le patient, huh? Who knows? Animals at the end. Some links below, not to this, because it's way too brand new. This isn't even no one even has this. No one. So bye bye. Thank you.